Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 5th, 2021. So today we have Lemurian Quartz, Practice Patience, and Black Kyanite, Set Strong Boundaries. So learning how to do the boundary thing, especially if you are an empath. <laughs> yeah, that can get tricky because how many times have you tried to set a boundary and you overdid it? Because maybe you were so afraid of retaliation from speaking your truth. Uh, or because most empaths, first of all, you can feel what other people feel. So pain can be a scary thing. Most of us don't want to be the reason why someone is upset. We, want, we don't want to do that to other people. So empaths do tend to not set those boundaries. And I'm talking energetic boundaries as well. Someone invading your thoughts, this sort of thing. Yes. But uh, this is all about finding a way to practice setting very balanced boundaries, right? So you're not snapping at somebody and coming at somebody super forcefully so that there isn't retaliation. And it's also not just going, you know what, I'm just gonna, you guys, I, I'm sorry, I just, I don't wanna upset anybody and I just, just tell me what you want me to do and I'll just make that content for you and I'll just do whatever you say and I'll use whatever decks that you say and blah, 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 blah. You know, <laughs> it's somewhere in between, all right? A happy medium. I remember an example where somebody who I knew who historically wasn't very good at setting boundaries would often allow people to take quite a few liberties with her and what they would say to her. Finally went in and told someone off and she came to me proudly saying, I set a boundary with that guy. Now, the guy that she set the boundary with, he was a little bit of a jerk. <laughs> he was kind of mean to people. But in this particular situation, it sounded like I wasn't there, but it sounded like he wasn't doing anything to her. But she just didn't like that you know, she hadn't set a boundary before and chose uh, sort of an inopportune moment <laughs> to come at this guy. And I didn't even know what to say. I just kind of was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. She was so proud of herself. So we don't want to do that, all right? It's gently laying down that boundary. We're all working on it. How many people do you know of who pride themselves on being sassy? Uh, people call me sassy, but I don't pride myself on it. As a matter of fact, when people tell me that I'm sassy, I'm like, ooh, did I come off like that? Didn't mean to. I just think that we allow the ego to get in the way far too often. And so our message isn't received because we have it in this, you know, fluffy cotton candy cloud, Right? And we're so conditioned to have people either sugarcoat or, you know, it's kind of weird. It's like some people can get away with sugar or get away with being blunt and other people have to sugarcoat. Comment down below if you feel like that's a thing. Because I feel like, you know, a businessman, he can be as blunt as he wants. And everyone says, hey, that's, that's the way to do it. <laughs> I don't know that they actually talk like that. But, um, you know, <laughs> they, they get kind of praised for that. But a woman who is, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm a woman and I'm here. So let me use myself as an example. Doing spiritual videos, if I sit down and I just say, not even being, you know, like pushy or anything, I just say it bluntly. Wow, look at you. It gets labeled. It gets all these things attached to it. You feel me? So where can we start... Just really be observing. That's the focus for today. Observe our emotional reactions and what we want to say. Now, some of you out there, you're just too much <laughs> most of the time. Comment down below if that's you. Raise your hand. Say, that's me. Um, <laughs> where can you, you know, be more authentic in how you feel? Now, if you're feeling passionate, of course, be passionate. But we don't need to be setting off somebody else's energy and yet not just sort of lying down and saying, yeah, sure, whatever you say. Make sense? I bet this isn't going to make sense to a lot of you out there because you are empaths. <laughs> That's why you found yourself to this video. But we'll figure it out on this day. But be patient with yourself. It's going to take some practice, I think, for some. Grounded. Stay grounded in what you're saying. Archangel Michael, courageous. Be courageous. You are protected to set these boundaries. You can speak your truth. All right? You, you can be strong and loving at the same time. And this is one of those big lessons I think that will be coming up for many people today. So contemplate that. Let that be your loving focus. 
All right? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.